Hello everybody and welcome back to Sablecraft. Oh my goodness you guys, I've been waiting to film this for such a long, long time. But um, if you follow me on Twitter you will see that I had my computer in at a, a shop uh, having the SSD card upgraded so that that way I went from 240 gigabytes of space for Sablecraft and other Minecraft series. So yeah, from 240 to one terabyte, huge, huge upgrade. So I'm very, very excited about that. And so with this new upgrade, we have some new huge things that we need to do, you guys. We need to hatch this little dragon egg. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to hatch this dragon egg, woohoo! Okay, so <laughs> I've been doing a tiny bit of research. Uh, where's my, oh no, there it is, there it is, there is my bestiary book. Boom! So, we currently have a ice dragon. Is there a page for ice dragons? <clears throat> no, there is not. I don't have that page yet. So. Anyway, I think I was I think I was in here and it's under tamed dragons. And so you do have to hatch them. And I was reading fire dragons, and with fire dragons you have to put the egg in fire. And so I'm guessing with this, you maybe have to put it in like ice or like water or something. So that's what we're going to go try to do today. But I saw this little bit about dragon meal that you can use to age them up. So I did go ahead, I made a little bit of dragon meal. Um but then we also need to make this a command staff. Um, we need to make a horn. And then we also need to make a flute for, you know, if ever our dragon decides it wants to try to fly away from us. Uh, they're not very loyal creatures, apparently, unlike hippogriffs that will defend you to the death. Um, but yeah, so we need a skull and a stick and then bones and a stick and then bones and a thing here. Iron. Is that iron? Right. So bones, 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 more bones, stick and iron. Got it. So, okay. <clears throat> I, sorry, my voice is all like really raspy and just like awful sounding today. Um, because my allergies are absolute murder right now. Like all, I, I literally spend like I, I don't normally have to do this, but I literally spent like an hour trying to like warm my voice up so I didn't sound so like raspy and like have to keep clearing my throat, but it didn't work, you guys. I still sound awful. Okay, so the iron it should be this away. I forget, I need to let Sablecraft load in. It is a bit of a r intensive series. I have a really good PC, you guys. I have like the latest and greatest of everything on my computer because I slowly just kind of upgrade it. And then like, as I have money, I buy a new part for it. And so it's it's like, is a good computer, but Sablecraft just, it has a hard time with Sablecraft. Nothing else, just Sablecraft. Okay, um, I think, oh, we forgot the, we forgot the skull, you guys. Okay, we have to go back in the house. We gotta go get the skull. Goal. Um, but I think it's probably has to do with the amount of builds that and how big they are um, all within one little area. It does have to load every single block. And then also we have a ton, a ton of animals, a ton of villagers. We've just got too much. My computer is just like, you know what? No, just no right now. Uh, let's use the stage for head. It's a little bit of a smaller one. <clears throat> I sound like I'm making like a huge important speech. Like I feel like I should be like tinking a little glass. Like I feel like I should be like this. <clears throat> but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just um allergies. <laughs> what was I going to say? Oh, right. So in between episodes, I went and I did look for a few more dragons since we did only get one egg and I wanted to get more eggs, you guys. And I found a few more dragons nests around in that same area that we didn't find. And I found two more eggs, two, two, you guys. I will insert pictures now. But I actually found one dragon nest. Okay, let's let's get crafting while I talk. But I actually found one dragon nest that had two dragons in it. There was like a, a small dragon, like a like, and then a large dragon in the same nest. I've never seen that before in my life. Okay, Dr why isn't it working? This I saw it work. Dragon command staff. What is happening? I'm confused. 
So apparently it doesn't want to work. So I think what we'll do is we'll just have to go into creative and then get rid of the item. So let's go do that right now. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, so get rid of the skull. Get rid of... Uh, oh, I got rid of 18 sticks. My goodness. Okay, 16 sticks. There we go. And then that will count for making the horn as well, which the horn is one, two, three, four bones. So then split that in half. There we go. So we've gotten rid of the two sticks. We've gotten rid of the skull. And we've gotten rid of four bones. So now we got to go in. We got to get the um, 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 command staff and the horn. There we go, and then we should get rid of the two bones, and then iron, um, one, two bones, and then the one, oh, not that, this, the one iron, and then we can give ourselves the dragon, like, flute? No, what was it? It was a dragon thingy. Dragon bone flute. There we go. That. <laughs> okay, back into survival. Boom, there we go. We are back into survival, and we now have, oh, you guys, we look so cool. We look so cool. Look at us with that. Look at this. This is amazing. This is so cool. Oh my goodness. Ooh, we need to. We need to sleep. Bed pet. Boom. Daytime. Yay! Thank you, bed pet. Always the best. Okay. Um. So we have that. We have our bestiary book. We have our command staff. We have the dragon horn. And I think um, we should go and we should hatch the dragons. I think. Wait, no, I didn't put them in there. I put them in here. <laughs> um, let's hatch the blue dragon first. These are the other two eggs that I found. They were both, I, th I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think, I don't know if the gray one is a fire egg or a ice egg. I honestly have no idea. Um, but let's go, let's go run over to our little, come on, open. Thank you. No, that's fine. Don't close. Um, let's go right over here to this huge atrium thing that we've got going on. I mean, this is kind of our, our like, um, hippogriff enclosure. Any kind of fire and ice mod creatures we can put in here. But there are also other new creatures in the fire and ice. Do I have a... Okay, good. I have a bucket. There are other new creatures in the Fire and Ice mod, you guys. It added Hippocamp, I think? And I really want to go out and find one of them. It's so cool. So cool. Oh my goodness, those Hippogriffs are loud. So loud. Okay, uh, take the water. I think you put the water in, if I remember correctly. And then bloop, egg. <gasps> it iced over, you guys. It iced over. Oh, little baby dragon's so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to be a dragon mom, you guys. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh. The, the hippogriffs are all worked up, you guys. Yeah, the hippogriffs are all worked up. Okay. Baby dragon hatch. Do the do the, do the baby dragon hatch dance. Do, 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 <laughs> um, Okay, this is going to take a... How long are you going to take? I guess it is a... Dragons, they're... I guess, I don't know. They're cold-blooded, right? Or are they warm-blooded? I don't, I would think they're warm, but they're like reptilian, you know, but, and like reptiles are cold-blooded, but then dragons breathe fire, so you would think, but maybe they're cold-blooded, but the fire keeps them warm, so they don't ever have to worry about getting cold, I don't know, you guys, I, I obviously know nothing about dragons. Okay, uh, they're probably not the best if, hippogriffs, can you please, my goodness, they are so loud, you, oh, <gasps> baby! Dragon. Oh my goodness. You are... <gasps> I picked her up. I picked her up. <gasps> he or she. I don't know. We don't know what her gender is. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at her. She's so beautiful. Oh, I keep saying she. It's so beautiful. <gasps> beautiful. Look at the... Oh, little puffs there. Um, How do I put you... How do I put you down? Do I put you down? With X? <gasps> okay, with X. With X. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, baby dragon. Thank you. Um, I wonder if it's like the hippogriffs and you like shift click on them. Oh my goodness, you guys, she's a female. It's a girl. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I know exactly what I'm going to name you. Baby dragon, come with me. Yes. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at her. She's so cute. I'm so excited. I wanted a blue female so bad. That was, that was what I really, really, really wanted. I was like, I want a blue dragon and I want a female blue dragon because I already have the perfect name for you. It is going to be Safira. If you guys read uh, the Aragon books, I was, oh my gosh, you guys, I, I think the first one came out, I think 
when I was in like fourth or fifth grade and I read it and I was obsessed from then on. And so to put them down, it's X. There, yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. What is that? What are all these noises? I don't know. You're making some crazy noises, little girl. Um, Rue, hush. Sorry, my dog sees someone out the window. Okay, she needs food. So I did make this dragon meal for her. Um, but we're not going to grow her up in the house, I think. I don't want her to get too, too big. Oh, look at She's so cute. Look at her eat. Oh, she's hungry. Oh, she is a hungry, hungry girl. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, she's so fierce and adorable. Oh, look at you. You're all like, Rawr! and I'm like, ah, it's adorable. When she's at stage five, though, we're not going to be saying ah, that's adorable. We're going to be saying, help me. Okay, Um, let's get a name tag. Let's go pick her up. Okay, can, yeah, 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 there we go. We got her. We got her, you guys. Oh, my God. I love her eye color. It's beautiful. It's like a very, very intense, like pinky purple color. It is gorgeous. Excuse me everybody please okay um i'm gonna put you down right here yeah oh lord you're adorable okay um safira let's name you safira there we go safira boom <gasps> look at everyone everyone's like what have you done what have you brought into the house okay do you guys hear those noises? They're like a jar dropping. I don't, is it the drag? Is it the dragon making those noises? Who's making those noises? I'm confused. Huh, huh, is it me? No, it's not me. Either way, it doesn't matter. We have a baby dragon. She is beautiful. Oh my gosh, you guys, seriously, look at her. Baby Safira, I keep wanting to pick her up because I'm like, I want her to stay tiny and cute and adorable forever. She needs to be tiny and cute and adorable forever, you guys. I don't think I want her to, I mean, I really want to be able to fly on her, but I also don't want her to grow up because she's so cute. Oh, she's adorable. Yes, hi, baby Safira. Look at, <laughs> look at Dandelion, like, oh God, move along. Move along, slowly. Hopefully it won't try to eat me. You guys, Safira would never try to eat you. She's family now. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Safira. I think actually we are going to let Safira stay in our house for now. She's so tiny, you know? I mean, we can't put her out on her own. She's just a wee baby. Oh my. <gasps> you are adorable. Safira, do you want brothers and sisters. That's what I want to know, Safira. Do you want brothers and sisters? Because I have two more eggs. We have a silver egg and we have a gray egg. I think I would be interested in hatching the gray dragon. I just don't know what, um, what kind of a dragon is it? Is it a fire dragon? Is it an ice dragon? Let's see if they say like specific color. Oh, that looks real scary, you guys. Um, <clears throat> again, with the throat, I'm sorry. Well, I cannot find anything about what kind of a dragon this is, and I really don't remember what dragon dropped it. I thought I'd only been going, and I thought I'd only been slaying ice dragons, you guys, but maybe one of them wasn't an ice dragon. I don't rightfully know. So, Safira, come with me. Ooh, we're gonna need, if we're gonna hatch... The, if it's a fire dragon, we are going to need netherrack. So let's go get some netherrack. Hi, bunnies. Uh, vanilla, chai, and latte. <laughs> uh, that's how I remember their names. Oh, I opened a chest. That was weird. Okay, close the door. And netherrack. Here, perfect. Okay, we're getting a little full. Need to drop a few things off. There we go. We got the flint and we have the iron. There we go. And of course, mushroom. Always, always mushrooms, you guys. Okay, so now we've got our, let's just actually, let's look up our sword. There we go. And we're going to go, we're going to run over to that area. Although, uh, where would be a good place to hatch a fire dragon, you guys? Because 
I don't want to burn everything. Maybe I don't want to do it out here because I don't want him to accidentally like be able to fly away and then be, be like, no, come back, baby dragon. And then that would suck. That would that would just be the worst, you guys. Okay, I think we should still try to uh, hatch him in in here, but just be aware that things could light on fire. Fantastic. Okay, Safira, you're gonna go over here, good girl. And then uh, let's just put this, I guess, like here. And then we light it, and then we put the egg on it. Yeah, okay, that seems that seems to be working, you guys. Okay, oh, get the command staff ready. Safira, are you watching? You're you're about to get another little brother or sister. Oh my gosh, I can't believe hippogriffs. Oh my goodness. Can there please be a config option to turn off the flap flap noise? Oh, it's so annoying. Any day now, little buddy. That would be really cool if this one was a uh, a male. I wonder, okay, so I'm guessing it has to be a fire dragon, you guys, because otherwise I wouldn't be doing this little, little egg dance on the fire if it was an ice dragon, right? I don't know, I don't know, you guys. Let's hope. We'll give it a few minutes. If it doesn't hatch, then we know it's probably not a fire dragon and that we, um, we need, ooh! <gasps> it is, it is. Stay there, stay there, buddy. <gasps> Oh, he is beautiful. Here's a little food for you, a little food for you. Ooh, these little baby dragons are hungry. Okay, uh, shift, right click. It's a male, oh my gosh, what? What luck? Oh, so he's still hungry, 65 out of 100. Okay, Safira, how hungry are you? 50 out of 100, oh my gosh, you guys. These little buggers need so much food. So much food, okay. Um, you need a name, um. We're gonna put him in the Dragon Command staff, I think. We're gonna pick up Safira. Let's go back to the house and we have to get them some food, you guys. I don't want them to um, to start taking damage or to die or something because they're too hungry. That would just break my heart. I'm a dragon mama now. I got little baby dragon twins. I gotta take care of them. Okay, close all the doors. Safira, you're still my favorite, don't worry. I mean, I really like the other one too, but obviously, I'll always have a soft spot for Safira in my heart because honestly, blue dragons. Blue dragons named Safira is just my childhood. Okay, Safira, um, I'm gonna put you down right here. Good girl. And then your brother is going to come out and where is he? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? You guys, where is he? He's not in the dragon horde anymore. Oh no. Oh no! What has happened? What has happened? I do not see him. I am panicking. Full on panic right now. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I'm gonna go into creative. I'm gonna fly around. I have to find him. I have to find him. Okay, we're in creative. Let's go find him. Where could he have gone? Is he on the roof? I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Little baby dragon, I didn't even get to name you. No. Oh, you guys, he's gone. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I put him in the dragon horn. And then when I tried to take him out, he disappeared. I went into creative. I flew around. I tried to find him. I even re-logged everything. I don't know what happened to him. He's just gone. He is just gone. <gasps> no, oh my god, what happened? Oh. Okay, you saw me use the dragon horn before, and you saw that it didn't work. You saw that, you guys. I'm... I don't know what happened. I was about to go start make a grave for him. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, I moved Safira over here so that I uh, didn't, like, so... Because, like, I was trying to listen for him to see if I could hear where he was. Like, to see if I could hear if, like, he was in the ceiling, if he was in the floor, something, anything. Um, and so I put Safira over in the other room so I, I, I didn't mistake her sounds and his sounds. And I literally, I heard nothing. And then I relogged and I came back and I, it still flew. Nothing, 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 nothing. And then suddenly... Nope, he's back. Here you go, little buddy. Lots of food, lots of food. Um, let's check. Okay, you're 100 out of 100. Safira, now it is your turn to eat a little bit of mutton. Just a little bit. Um, and now she's 100 out of 100. Yay! 
okay, so this little guy needs, it's, it's the same dragon, right? Yeah, unnamed male. Yeah. Oh my god, he's already hungry again. How are you so hungry? I don't understand. Um, so we need a name for, uh, for this little guy. Oh, what do we need? Oh my, I'm, I'm still, I am, I am shook, you guys. I am shooketh. He disappeared. I thought he was dead. I was about to go make a grave for him. I was so sad. And then when I logged and relogged, suddenly he was back in the dragon horn. I don't understand. I will not ever claim to understand what just happened. I am just happy that I have both my baby dragons back. Oh, okay. Um, we only have one more name tag left and we need to name him. I don't know if I trust this dragon horn anymore. It's a faulty dragon horn, you guys. Um, <laughs> I want my money back. Um, so no, we need a name for him. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna look at some names. There we go, Shrooken. And uh, <laughs> it kind of almost sounded like, bless you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. I'm tired, okay? Um, okay, here we go. And baby Shrooken! Oh, he's adorable. I can't believe I have two baby dragons. What do you think? Should we hatch the third egg and have three baby dragons? Or is that too many? Is that too many baby dragons? Can we even afford to feed all those baby dragons, you guys? I don't know. We'll definitely be having to breed uh, a lot more animals. That is for sure. But, um... I have been breeding my uh, my cows and whatnot. I probably should be breeding sheep as well because they do seem to like mutton quite a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I really want to hatch the other egg. Ah, ah, oh my goodness. Okay, Safira. Safira, my love. What should we do? Do you want another baby dragon friend? You know what, you guys? I think I'm actually going to save that third baby dragon for another time. For sure, that will be something really fun to do. Um, I think we should maybe just try to focus on keeping this, keep these two alive because I don't know what I'm doing, as we very well know. Um, we almost lost one of them already today. I think it would be quite silly to try. And um, is there something in my... There is a zombie in my chicken coop. Look at him. Look at that little sucker over there. Just chilling in my chicken coop. How dare you. How dare you. Good sir. Ugh. Okay, we'll probably have to go over. I don't want to leave them. They're so precious. They're so precious. Um, but let's go. Uh, let's go take care of Mr. Zombie and tell him he needs to leave our chickens alone. And that's another thing. Actually, chickens are incredibly, incredibly easy to uh, get a lot of. So I think maybe we should test them and see how they feel about chicken um was it our chicken or it, no it couldn't have been our duck coop it has to be our yeah it's our chicken coop he's in our chicken coop okay um open open uh mr zombie can you please stop thank you okay you guys oh he even dropped a shovel i think did he drop a shovel he did! He dropped his shovel. How kind of him. So, I mean, really, all we would need to do to have a lot of chickens is uh, really just, um, excuse me, chickens, excuse me, is just put a male, just put a rooster in there. And literally, our chicken population would explode. So I think maybe that is something I'll go do. I'll go find a rooster. Actually, we can go do that. We can go do that now. Let's go find a rooster, you guys. And then put the rooster in with the chickens and then get lots and lots of baby chicks. And then feed them to our dragons, of course. Okay, uh, let's check on the dragons. So you're still okay on health, Safira. Shrooken, you're good on health. Okay, I'm gonna empty my inventory and then we're gonna go, we're gonna find some chickens. <gasps> there they are, there they are. Hello, chickens. Which one of you, you're a rooster. Hi, buddy. I'm so sorry, this is a life. Actually, I really don't need this, this pig. Pig, you can go free. Let's take this chicken back with us as well because we're gonna need as many chickens as we possibly can get. Sweet, we've got the chickens. Time to get back home. Whoa, you guys. <gasps> Did you see, look at, there's a huge dragon skeleton down there. Oh, wow. That is so, that is a 
big one too, you guys. That is huge. Icarus, come on, buddy. Let's go. Let's go across so you don't get burnt by those those nightmares. And then let's go and check that out. Okay. Good good boy. You stay there. Oh my goodness, you got Oh, I'm I'm starving. Okay, let's eat. There we go. That has to be like a a stage 5, you guys. This is huge. Okay, let's pick up the skull. I'm interested to see how oh, we're getting in the gloom. The gloom. I am interested to see what stage that dragon was and what could have possibly have killed it. That is crazy. It was a stage four. Wow. I don't think I've... Icarus, we are lucky that dragons really have only stayed underground so far and that no dragons have decided to start living on the surface. I think at that point... I think we would probably, we would be in a lot of trouble, Icarus. That is for sure. Never ever upset the dragons, you guys. Ah, beautiful Sablecraft. I absolutely love coming here, you guys. We still really need to go back over to our hotel because we haven't been over there to move anybody in. Ow, sorry, Icarus, we hit the chimney. We haven't been over there to move anybody in in a very very long time. Okay, buddy, land. There you go. Okay, settle. Good boy, Icarus. Okay, let's get out the bed pet. You are such a good hippogriff. Okay, sleep. Wait, did we sleep? I thought, yeah, we slept. Okay, good. Uh, put the bed pet over here. Icarus, you know what? You deserve, you deserve some rabbit. That's right, you do. You deserve some rabbit. I'll be right back with some rabbit for you. We're such a good boy. Okay, let's go get Icarus some rabbit and then uh, release the chickens, basically. Here we go. Raw rabbit. I know you guys, the dragons are probably like, wait, I would like to try some raw rabbit. It's for Icarus because Icarus is such a good boy. There you go. Yeah. Icarus is like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he loves the raw rabbit, you guys. He loves it. Here we go, everybody. Look at all of these eggs. Once we release this rooster here, he is going to go and then all of these eggs are going to hatch and be chickens. I am excited. Oh, that's the hen. Sorry, lady. There you go. That's the rooster. And he is the one that is going to be the father to all the baby chickens. All of them. Aren't you, buddy? Go on. Go do your job. Good little rooster. Go, go, go. I swear, you guys, if I didn't have Sablecraft, I would probably be some crazy, like, chicken lady and probably have, like, 5,000 chickens. Like, I don't even, I don't even, like, eat eggs or anything like that, really. But I love chickens. I love, I just love, I love them. They just, they be pets, you guys. I would have, I would have a ton, a ton of pet chickens. There you go, you guys. That is a whole stack of seeds. Go on, Mr. Rooster. Do your job and make some little baby chickies that will then be fed to my dragons. But, but we're not gonna talk about that. But all right, you guys, I think that is actually going to be it for today's episode of Sablecraft. If you love the new baby dragons and also remember to leave a like on this video, give a little love to Icarus, you guys, because this hippogriff is amazing. He will never replace crow but he is just as good as crow and as always you guys please remember to hit that subscribe button if you are new to my channel because more baby dragons why would you not want to see more baby dragons and i will see you guys in the next one all right goodbye